Shalom friends, welcome back. It's Megillah Reactions Part 2. As noted, Mordechai would often go and sit outside the king's gate to find out what he could about Esther. And while he was there, he overheard two servants planning to kill the king, which, understandable. Mordechai tells Esther, and Esther in turn tells the king in Mordechai's name. The two servants get executed. And this incident gets written down in the king's day planner, which he never reads. At this point, Ahasuerus promoted an absolute fuckboy troll named Haman to be his advisor. All the king's servants would bow to Haman and be like, oh my god, Haman, we love you. But uh, not Mordechai, because Haman wore a big idol on a chain around his neck, and Jews don't roll like that. Couldn't bow to him. It is vital to note at this juncture that Haman was indeed a petty, jealous bitch. So he's like, I'm so mad at this guy Mordechai that I want all the Jews to die. Let's kill them. Haman cast dice to figure out what day is best for a little genocide, and he picked the 13th of the month of Adar. Just like now, anti-Semites love to accuse Jews of dual loyalty. So this creep-tastic Haman goes to Ahasuerus and says, oh, there's this group in the kingdom and they're different from all of us and they've got their own secrets and rules and stuff and they're really sketchy. Let's get rid of them. I'll even pay for it. And again, Ahasuerus being literally the worst, he was like, oh, cool, have my signet ring. Go nuts. Kill whoever you want. The decree gets issued to everybody in the provinces. They text it to everybody. It's on WhatsApp. And it looks like real bad news for the Jews. He signed off on a total massacre of everybody. So Mordecai found out about this and he was like, well, fuck. He tore his clothes and poured ashes on his head in mourning. The Jews were not doing great, let's just say. They were not doing well. So Esther sends a servant to go meet with Mordecai at the gate and he explains the whole thing to the servant and how Haman is behind it because let's face it, she was in the harem. They don't exactly let them have access to CNN. She didn't know what was going on. They don't let her on Twitter. And Mordechai was like, okay, it's time you reveal your secret identity. You have to announce that you are indeed Iron Man. You must intervene with the king. Esther was like, okay, to be clear, you're literally asking me to go to court without being invited, right? And if I do that, there's a very good chance I will be murdered by my husband, who I have been forced to marry, and who is a monster. Mordechai was like, well, don't think you're safe here. They're going to kill you when they find out who you are. Maybe it was your destiny to save us, and that's why you became queen. That's like saying everything happens for a reason, which is literally the worst thing to say to someone who might be imminently murdered by an intimate partner. So Esther was like, fine, fine. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do this. Get all the Jews together. We're going to fast and we're going to pray for three days because I'm going to do this thing, even if I die trying. Stay tuned for part three.